guys, it's Hafa. I'm back again. This is going to be an update for my Project 50 Pan Roulette. We're up to like 12 or 13 or something. I can't actually remember which number it is. Um, it'll be in the title or something. I'll remember eventually. Um, so, I will first of all go through the stuff that I had already finished up till this point. And then we will look at the other stuff. I did actually finish something this um, month. So that was really good. So, uh, eyeshadow to hit pan on was, whoops, this eyeshadow here from the That's Heart palette by BH Cosmetics. Um, then we had a blush to hit pan on which was this lol blush um, only the lighter side and I hit pan up there strange place to hit pan but nevertheless um, the W7 photo shoot foundation which had started oxidizing on me I used probably half of it before I started to notice an issue so that one is gone the <coughs> Estee Lauder um, Sumptuous Extreme Mascara, the Harvey Prince Damask Rose Perfume, uh, the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, which I took out of the project because it just wasn't working for me, the Grace & Cole uh, Grace Cole hand cream in uh, pineapple passion fruit. Um, I got down to that mark there. Um, I only wanted to use like half of it. It's actually in a new project now, so that's why it's actually moved below that line. It's in my other um, project pan roulette one. Um, the Urban Skin Care Co. Uh, body Bum, the Burt's Bees Pink Grapefruit Lip Balm, which I absolutely loved, the Neon & Co Hair Treatment, which was more like water than oil, it's supposed to be treatment oil, uh, the Suntivity Moisturiser, which smells like Elmer's glue and is really weird and yicky. The Organic Care Fig and Papaya Body Wash, which I really didn't like the smell of that much. Uh, the Nivea Day Cream. Uh, High Lift Cureplex Step 3, which is like Olplex, just a different brand. Final Max in Hypnotic from Rimmel, which made my lips feel kind of weird. Don't know what was going on with that. Uh, Maybelline Colossal Volume Mascara, uh, Stralis Mint Condition Lip Gloss, which um, isn't finished, but it doesn't moisturise. It's supposed to moisturise. It doesn't. It just dries my lips out. The La Femme Perfume from Avon, which I had in this little atomizer thingy, which that is all used up. The <coughs> Charcoal Mask from Derma E. Uh, the Essie Beyond Cozy Nail Polish, which doesn't look like it's finished but it can't be used anymore. Um, the La Cura Power Serum, which is just a little sample. The L'Envita Light C1 Mask. Uh, Rimmel Scandalize Thick Thin, which um, I'd only just put in, but it's terrible, so I got rid of it. And the So Susan Mascara, which again was terrible, so I got rid of it. So let me put these all oops, back in my box. So 
on to the thing that I finished since I last updated. This is the Liqueur Cherish Luxury Hand Cream. Really, really nice. Um, very exotic kind of smell to it. Um, yeah, so, yep, I used... All that up. and shook that and shook that and squeezed it and squeezed it and squeezed it and um, yeah apparently not quite as finished as I thought it was but now it is okay <laughs> that was amusing uh, so on to the things that I have not finished um, the Honolulu bronzer from W7, which I'm trying to hit pan here. Um, haven't really used it too much. I've been focusing on some other eyeshadow things that I have. Um, Max, MAC Vegas Vault lipstick. Doesn't look any different. I've used it maybe once since I last updated. Hence why it doesn't look any different. Uh, the iTeeny Swizzle Stick from... The Swizzle Stick Eyeliner from Itini in Midnight Cowgirl. It still looks the same. I've really only worn makeup um, three times, four times in the last three weeks or something. Um, one that has had some progress on it is the um, Essence Eyebrow Stylist. Um, I've actually hit side pan just there did that today using it um, yeah so that is a little bit different from what was before I will insert a picture of what it looked like last time the star looks ultra olive um, eye pencil that one has actually had some movement on it since the last time I marked it. So we are, we are right there now. We were all the way up there when we started. So we're getting there. Um, it is a super duper creamy eyeliner, so it does require uh, sharpening on a fairly regular basis. So you tend to move for it, through it a little bit faster. The W7 lipstick in pink, um, which doesn't actually have a name, it's just uh, pink. Um, I think I've worn this like once. It hasn't had any noticeable movement in it. Uh, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer has decided to slide down even though that's where the big gappy thing is like where my line is it's actually below that when you look inside it it's actually sitting down about there um yeah so we're getting there again i haven't really worn makeup a lot so it hasn't really got used the inglot highlighter powder um i haven't used it so it doesn't look any different the chapstick hydration lock um this is probably the most used thing in my collection so this is the daytime side so we're getting down in there <coughs> and that is the nighttime side So as you can see, that one is way down. I don't think that's probably got that much more to go. Like literally I have that much left of that one. So that may well be done by next time. The only problem is, is it does not like 
you to do what I just did. cherry lipstick um, I think I've used it like once so again it hasn't really moved the NYX control freak um, there's still product in it it is starting to look a little manky um, not everybody objects to that but it gets to a point I just don't like that anymore and I'll end up going and buying like a new one uh, the L'Oreal Lip Liner, uh, which is what I'm actually wearing today underneath a different lipstick. We are now right there. Yeah, that line is right there. So that's where we are now. A little tiny bit of progress. Um, the Overtime shadow from my shadows palette um, I will insert a picture from last time so you can see the change um, it's a bit hard to tell just looking at it most of the time whether it's actually moved And the last thing was, one of the other things I added in last time, which was the Swiss Rose Hip Moisturiser. Um, we are down here. Uh, I think I've used it like four times, so I don't think... Uh, I don't know, I can't remember how full it was. Probably wasn't all the way full, but I'd say this is probably going to be gone by the next time I update. So that is everything that's currently in the project. So I need to pull out one new one from my little container of things and see if we can find something interesting to add in so what have we got here we have a cream product I will be back Okay, for my cream product, I'm going to put in a cream eyeshadow stick. This is the Eye Express Cream Shadow Stick from Maybelline in Touch of Toffee. Which looks like that. A bit hard to see. Um, it might be a little... Um, I had another one which I really didn't like. So this may not last very long, I may decide I don't like it, but that is how much I have to start with. So that is it for this particular update of my Project 50 Pan Roulette. Uh, we are at uh, 26. This will be the 26th item that I've added in. So we're halfway there, basically. Um, yeah, so if you want to subscribe, click the button down there, leave me a thumbs up if you like Project Pan type videos, and leave me a comment down below, I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.